Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle, this side right here must be equal to 2 units, and the distance from the tip of this right triangle to this point must be equal to 5 units. Now our goal is to find the area of the shaded region. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, given this figure, our goal is to find the area of the shaded region. Now, how are we going to answer this kind of question? Um, the only given is this side length, which is 2 units. And this side length must be equal to 5 units. And our goal is to find the area of this triangle right over here now to answer this question what we're going to do is to let this side be equal to a variable and let's call this as x and the other side of this right triangle and let's call this as y now this is the only thing that we need to find the area of the shaded region now to answer this notice that we have three small triangles inside our big right triangle here's the first one and here's the second one the second triangle and the third triangle must be right over here all right so we have three triangles inside our big right triangle now we will use the concept of the area of a triangle now the area of a triangle is given by this formula we have one half times base times height whatever its base and whatever its height now to answer the area of the shaded region this is just equivalent to the area of the whole triangle or the area of this right triangle which is equal to one half times base times height we have one half the base must be pi plus y this is the base and the height must be equal to 2 plus x which is the height of this right triangle then divided by 2 next we need to subtract the area of this triangle the second triangle having the base of 5 and the height must be equal to x next we also need to subtract the third triangle having the base of y and the height of 2 plus x now this expression right here must be equal to the area of this triangle which is what we want to find all right so let's simplify first let's go to this last term we have y multiplied by 2 plus x so let's distribute this y to 2 and x if we do that we get 2y plus xy Next, let's distribute this. 5 plus y multiply by 2 plus x. If we do that, we get something like 10 plus 5x plus 2y plus xy. Now, notice that we have the same denominator of 2. So, we can combine these fractions. Now, if we do that, we get something like 10 plus 5x plus 2y plus xy minus 5x minus 2y minus xy now here's the good thing we have positive 5x right over here and negative 5x so this is just equal to 0 we also have positive 2y and the negative 2y this is also equivalent to 0 and we have positive xy and negative xy this is also equal to 0 and what's left in the numerator is just 10 and the denominator we have 2 and it's very simple 10 divided by 2 will give us a value of 5 and that is the area of the shaded region therefore our answer to this question what is the area of the shaded region and our answer must be equal to 5 square units and as always we are done